Fantastic. I'll, I'll be there in 15. What's that? We just got our first big break on these computer thieves we've been after for six months. What guys used to do computers? No, no, no. Hackers? Hackers. 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 Hackers over on the dark side. Right. Well, it's a big game for those guys, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Until someone gets greedy. Well, that's it. I'm done. I gotta go to work. Good game, man. <laughs> that's fun. Love this stuff, don't you? Reminds me of when I was coming up. The stuff we used to pull. What are these guys up to now? They've been picking off one financial site after another. They get in so deep that they become the system administrator, and then they can hack credit card numbers at will. Someone's trying to break in right now. Gotcha. Let's move. I'll meet you up front. Okay. Look, I don't have that kind of cash right now. It would just be till payday. No, oh, listen. Come on, I just bought a motorbike. I don't have extra cash floating around. Look, you know? if you don't trust me, just read up here. It's not that I don't trust you. You sure did some cash, Mr. Man? No, sir. I'm just a little, uh, overextended, that's all. Well, maybe I can help you out. Oh, I don't think you should lend me money, sir. I didn't say I was gonna lend you any money, Mr. Bay. Okay. Look, you guys are about to, uh, do a change on shift, right? Yeah, yeah, we got, uh, four days off in a row. Hmm. Well, how about you think about taking on some extra shifts, huh? Maybe, because I got this recruit from Barry, you know, she's looking to do a ride along to get her accreditations. What do you think? I don't know why. Working with new recruits, that's not really my forte, you know? I'm not really yeah. the teaching type. Uh -huh. yeah. I think that I'd probably end up doing them a disservice, to be honest with you. Her name's Elise. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. Sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I could use the money, too. No, sure. I, I'll, I'll do it. Do no, it. I said I'll do it. Toby okay. volunteered. I'll I think totally I, do it. He's got days off. What's up, man? Well, I know you. Nah, but I know you. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, your computer's beaming some pretty nasty signals up there. I thought you guys were smarter than that. Really gonna make me... Spooked easy. Well, maybe he didn't want to be found in possession of these. Blank credit cards, there's got to be 10,000 in here. X-rays done. Be sure. Did the car door hurt him? Hmm, hurt him. Well, he's got a severe case of bruised ego. <laughs> Worst case I've ever seen. Can we talk to him? Sure. Go ahead. Benny, Benny, Benny. Next time you pull a stunt like that, you might not just sprain an ankle, man. Who told you my name? Oh, this is official. You popped up on the radar at IAB. Why don't you tell us about that bag of credit cards? Belongs to a friend of a friend asked me to hold on to it for him. Well, if those cards are encoded with stolen credit card numbers, you could be charged with possession of stolen property. If? If they weren't, then why did you run? All right. This friend of a friend, does he have a name? Probably. Yeah. You mind if I take this? Yeah. <clears throat> I look at, I don't know what you got yourself mixed up in, but 
maybe a little more serious than you think. You're gonna charge me? I haven't decided yet. Then we're done talking. It's got a bit of an attitude. It's all right, I know the type. Thanks for stopping by before you left. No problem. He's telling the truth about holding cards for his friend. Something else on his mind, something bigger. A guy named Jericho Eleven. Jericho Eleven? Yeah, you know him? Yeah, the name just popped up recently, but I wasn't sure if it was a real person or an invention. It's very real to him. So you said you have the next four days off? I'm guessing not anymore. Okay, what are we looking at here? We were just getting ready to start the ceremony. Everybody's in their seats. I think she's having a heart attack. Okay, all right. Now, what here? Can you just get her up here? Here we go. Okay, let's have a seat. Okay. All right. Um, what's your name? Alicia. Alicia. Okay, Alicia, I'm Oz, and this is Elise. Hi. Anna, can you tell me what you're feeling? My chest is tight. I can't breathe. My grandmother died of heart failure when she was 83. Okay, we have shortness of breath, heart palpitations. BP's 140 over 90. Okay, just take a slow, deep breath. Let's all take a nice, slow, deep breath. Okay, ma'am. Are you experiencing any pain, numbness? Is your vision blurred? Okay. No, no, you're not having a stroke and you're not having a heart attack. But I have seen this condition before. I believe the technical term is pied foie, cold feet, right? You're a little nervous, maybe. And who wouldn't be? You know what? It's your big day. That is, you got like 500 people in there. You probably got mom yak, yak, yak in your ear all day. So let's just think about how you felt when he proposed to you. OK, what's the young man's name? Ryan. Ryan. OK, and I bet he took you somewhere really nice. Rome. Rome. I was thinking more like the keg, but okay, you're in Rome, and you got butterflies in your stomach, and your heart is racing. And those are the real feelings. Just take one more deep breath. <sighs> okay, now, if anything else comes up, you guys need anything else, you can give us a call, but I think you're gonna be just fine. Thank you. Um, ma'am, I need you to sign this. And you know what? If it doesn't work out in there, then you can give me a call. I'm kidding. Obviously, that's very inappropriate, Mom. Come on. Oh, don't forget this. Thank you. Throw that at somebody. <laughs> Wow, I um, completely misread her, and you nailed it. Oh, you know, this is why you're here. There's only so much you can learn in the classroom, right? I like your bedside manner. So neither cyber crimes or financial has anything on this Jericho 11? Nothing. And what about the credit cards? All blank. And the computer you used to track them with? No, it was wiped clean by cell phone command before we got to him. Then we got nothing. We can't charge him. Well, actually, we've had a surveillance team following Benny since he left the hospital. I was really hoping that it would lead us to Jericho 11. Oh, good. And? He met someone very interesting. Oh. Who is she? I'm Marissa Patterson. Cybercrime knows her as Hack Girl. She is a blogger. She's sort of like the Perez Hilton of hacking. If she writes about you and you're a hacker, then you know you've made it. Yeah, she's very anti-authority. Big chip on her shoulder. Could she be Jericho 11? Doubt it. But she may know who is. Problem is, she protects her sources. There's no way she's going to give up his identity, especially to a bunch of cops. I think we should get someone next to her. Let's do it. You know, I do not see you as a hacker, my friend. You can barely program your own self. Oh, no, they briefed me, so I'm good. All right. Park right in the slide, gets it out in front. Uh, Lehman stirring away in a breakaway. Shooting! Oh! Oh, oh holy Mackinac! Wait, the goalie's look, he's stuck. Yeah, who cares, man? Don't play with the stuck goalie. I just know where you're going with the oh, park. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah. All right, come on. You think you're the only psychic in the house? Here we go. How's the newbie? What, Elise? Yeah. She's interested. Yeah. Call her hot. I wouldn't say interesting. Listen, Toby, if you're going to mess with these hackers, they got yeah. their own language, their own code. Setting pressure! Oh! Go! Oh, dear. That is uh, ugly. You yeah. can't fake it. That's all I'm saying. No, I got a cover story. They, uh, I got a whole bunch of uh, credit card numbers, and I need to pass them. Do you, you want to test me? OK. Got it all worked out. Yes, uh, so Mr. Logan, how did you come to acquire these numbers? Well, I scoped a few point of purchase terminals, a few businesses, and I put a Z-Bot in to access the servers. I ate a few keys and my bank account gets fatter every day. Is that so? Yeah. What, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could hook me up with someone who's in the market for identities. Who would give you that idea? A guy named Benny. He said you could hook me up, you could help me out. I don't know who the hell you are or what you've been told, but 
but you have me all wrong. Okay. I'm a blogger. Mm -hmm. I write about hackers, and half of them don't make a nickel for what they do. Are you offended by what I do? No. It's worse than that. It bores me. Okay. Look, I just, I didn't mean to. Okay. Don't touch me. Sorry. I won't touch you. Do you know Jericho Levin? I'm gonna give you a little piece of advice, okay? Bad things happen to people that get involved with Jericho Levin. Bad things. That's him. Yeah. That's the guy Hacker saw when I mentioned Jericho 11. Hey. Peter Duquette, 25 years old. Dropped out of Queen's computer engineering after a term for a more lucrative life in crime. Nice. Arrested for identity theft, fraud, suspected of numerous counts of online improprieties. Well, it looks like he changed his ways. He runs a firm that tests companies cybersecurity. There's some big accounts here, GM, Ford, Canada Bank Financial. Wait, so these big companies are okay with a hacker like this? They trust them? Yeah, hackers make the best security consultants because they know all the tricks. Hey, what about that, that hanging guy that you saw? Uh, not sure. I, that feels like a suicide to me. And that equipment room? No idea. Maybe we got to uh, see what Mr. Duquette has to say. Yeah, you want me to come along? No, Peter and Hacker all might be in communication. I don't want them connecting any dots just yet. I'll get my coat. your new partner oh she's good she's good she's a little raw but uh she's getting the hang of it you free tonight sorry i have plans okay no problem are you free tomorrow maybe later in the week uh maybe i have a few things but um uh, give me a call okay yeah. My apologies for the mess. We canceled the main service when we wired in. Oh, Mr. Duquette, you seem to have done very well for yourself, given your less than stellar start. Oh, well, we all make mistakes when we're young. Isn't that right, Mr. Clark? Or is it lockdown? That was back around 97, though, right? How many T-flops? 425. Let me guess. Uh, Shark 367 firewall. Now you're just showing your age. <laughs> I believe that you know Benny here. Yeah, yeah, I do. He's a very talented programmer. He writes some excellent code. What are they working on? Well, they're testing a new phone app security. There's a cross-site scripting hole. Persistent or non-persistent? Uh, non-persistent. The developer thought that HTML entity coding on five XML characters would be would... enough to prevent the cross-site. Exactly. They're wrong. And that's how I make my money these days, is by saving companies from people like I... Well, we used to be. Now, I may help you. We're looking for someone named Jericho Eleven. We believe this person may be involved in large-scale identity theft. Why would you think that I know him? Well, unless I'm wrong, you move in the same circles. I don't associate with those sorts anymore. I meant with your work. You are one of the good guys now, right? A white hat? They still call him that? They do. No, I haven't heard of this individual, but if I do, I will be sure to let you know. Well, we would appreciate that. Thank you for your time. Thank you. So, Peter Duquette seems to know a lot about you. you Want to fill me in? Especially, there's a reason that juvie records are sealed, Michelle. Dev, I know you've had your run-ins with the law. I've never asked any questions before, but it's never affected a case. Okay. I got caught hacking into the Department of Defense at 16. They offered me a deal, either help with the RCMP or face the music. Turned out I like being a white hat. Well, it sounds like your legacy lives on. And once you're in cyberspace, you live forever. I'm a digital artifact. And what about Duquette? You think he's gone back to his old ways? Because he Jericho alone? Yeah. I don't know. We both know he's hiding something. Okay. Maybe it's time to call our uh, mind hacker. <laughs> the one who doesn't need a computer? Yeah. <laughs> Fancy tip of blade to the base of the epiglottis. Inflating cuff. Securing tube. And time. 57 seconds. 
beat that. I honestly don't think I can. That is that is a very impressive time. Really? Yes, absolutely. Good for you. Cool. Hey, it's um, it's almost quitting time. Want to grab a beer? I can't tonight. I gotta get some work done. Thank you, though. Oh, um, okay. How about tomorrow? It'll be my treat. I have per diem. Per diem? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's me. Sorry. What are you doing here? I just, I want to talk to you without getting stabbed. What do you want? I need your help. All right, look, the truth is, my name is Lars Trenton. I'm head, head of security at a data storage company. We got hacked, someone stole credit card information. I think the person who did it, his name is Jericho Levin. I need you to help me find him. I already told you I don't know who the guy is, okay? And why should I help you? You lied to me. You lied to me? I mean, you, uh, you're not just a blogger, you're one of them. <laughs> Right. All right, so how, how do you know so much about them? How do you know how to find them? You know all that because you are one of them. You're a hacker. You can believe whatever you want to believe. All right, okay, I'm sorry. Let me start over, all right? I need your help. Why should I help you? Because maybe you want to find Jericho 11 just as much as I do. I'll share my theories, you share your theories. We pool our resources. He's fishing. How much does he really know? I know a lot more than you think. I don't know. What's the name Peter Decat mean to you? You think he's Jericho 11? Whether he is or isn't, we think he's the one who hacked our company. I don't, I, I don't know anything. I can't help you with this, I'm sorry. What happened to you? Someone do something new. What? I mean, the way you pulled a knife on me, it's not natural. I don't need your pity. Your pity. This isn't pity. But if you want to talk to someone, you let me know. Are you Dr. Phil or Lars Trenton? Nice choice of name, by the way. Mm, thank you. I saw the hanging guy again. I think it has something to do with Duquette. Okay. And uh, the room full of junk. It's actually old computer equipment. Anything else? Yeah, I saw um, thousands of sequences of numbers, uh, three groups of three, like social insurance numbers. Identity theft? I mean, that could be worth millions. Mm -hmm. I have to ask again. Do you think she's in on it? I don't know. Maybe. Betty, mind if we talk? I got nothing to say. Good, then you can listen, okay? Look, I know you don't know me, I don't know you, but we got a lot more in common than you think. <laughs> Give me a break. What? I used to be a punk just like you. Maybe you still are. Let me guess, you're good at computers. You go places no one else can, but then you realize that there's money to be made. Right, what happened to you? No, I got caught. Maybe you're not that good. Maybe you're not that bad. What's that mean? It means you can still make something of your skill. <laughs> You're a cop, right? What do you make, 75K? Well, I could use more, we all could, but it doesn't mean I run and become a black hat. I'm no black hat, I'm green hat. I go where the money is. You're in a position to help me get the guys that don't know right Dude, from wrong. I'm sorry, I'm just doing this for the fun of it, okay? You're not mixed up with just hackers. These are criminals. That means you and me. Look, we're on a collision course. Yeah. Well, I got places to go. Canada's data is absolutely safe. It's protected by a bulletproof firewall second to none, designed by myself. No one's questioning your abilities, Mr. Niles. However, IIB has reason to believe that a malicious hacker is targeting social insurance numbers. Since Revenue Canada handles so much of the data, we felt obligated to inform you. You realize that I'm just a consultant to Revenue Canada? Well, it's our understanding that you are, for lack of a better term, their head of internet security. Listen, I've been around computers a long time. I've seen a lot of code. I've seen hackers, good and bad, come and go. 
That's why they hired me. So you've heard of someone using the handle Jericho 11? How'd you find that name? So you have heard of it? Some chatter has come to our attention regarding that name. We've been investigating, but so far nothing has been substantiated. You think he has something to do with his threat to steal sin numbers? Possibly. Does the name Peter Duquette mean anything to you? Yes, why? All we have reason to believe that he's Jericho 11. I find that very unlikely. And why is that? Peter Duquette is a paid consultant to Revenue Canada. In fact, he was the one who tipped us to Jericho 11. So you're telling me that Duquette, the guy that you think is Jericho 11, is actually working for the good guys? Apparently, yeah. I mean, granted, I don't understand that much about the world of hacking, but it seems like all the good guys and bad guys are kind of bleeding into one another. Yeah. White hat, black hat, hacker versus cracker, mm -hmm. tickling fan, so underscore. The problem is, whoever Jericho 11 is, he's going to steal these sin numbers. Doesn't matter if it's Duquette or some other cat. That's it. Cat or cat. That's good. Mm -hmm. What? There I am. Hey. Do you want to meet Peter Duquette? Yeah. He's having a party tonight at his loft. All right. Be there at 11. Hey, what's uh, what's so important that you had to call me on my night off? Got to have you sign my report on the pedestrian mishap. Oh, OK. It's actually pretty important. You look terrific, by the way. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I'm uh, going out with some friends. Oh, yeah? Are they here? They can come inside. I'm not sure I'm ready to share. I don't bite. I meant you. <laughs> Listen, Oz, I just wanted to thank you, you know, for taking me on and making me feel so comfortable. I was a little worried about who I'd be partnered with. It's all part of the job. You know? and, and, and you're you're good. I think you're going to have an excellent career. Want to call me later? Do you want me to call? Hey, uh, this is good. I think how it is. Actually, no, you're, you're, you're right. Just give that to the nurse and you're cool. Yeah. Oh. All right, see you. Hey, what's up? Hi. All good? Uh, why wouldn't it be? No, nothing. It does seem a bit young for you. Oh, that's just work-related stuff. You know, totally platonic. Plus, she's, uh, she's out of my league. So. Ah, but if she weren't. That's not what I meant. And I guess I fall right into your wheelhouse. Hey, do you want to go for a drink? I'm actually meeting someone for drinks right after my shift. Really? Yep. Hey, Oz. Hey, hey. Hey, Liv. How are you? Good. Maybe in five, Sandy? Yep. Oh. Oz was just telling about his uh, trainee. What's her name? Elise. Uh, oh, poor thing has to wear a dress that's a couple sizes too small. Oh, mustn't have gotten paid yet. Okay. Hey, you guys are gonna have fun tonight. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you later. You do that. Oh, and um, say hi to Elise for us. Yeah. <clears throat> Lars Trenton. He's with me. Would you like a drink? I would love a drink. Okay, you seem distracted. Yeah, no, I just think I chose the wrong career. Well, trust me, not all hackers live like this. Hey. Uh, vodka soda, please. Yeah, I get a scotch. Yeah. You must be Lars Trent. Hey, Peter Duquette. Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Marissa tells me that you're having some difficulties with the business venture. I am. Yeah, I, I hope you can help me out. Well, if Marissa vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Let's talk. Would you, uh, excuse us? What are you doing here, cop? My job. You're really getting on my nerves. Good. Good, I do what I can. Well, black hat battle's about to begin. What do you say you and I have a go? Nah, uh, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> you scared? Afraid you lost your touch? All right, here's the deal. You win, I'll get off your case. I win? You show me a little respect. Somebody said they used to call you Lockdown. I got a new name for you, old man. Dial up. 
I was just hoping maybe you could point me towards the sort of individuals I'm looking for. You know, I'm, I'm not looking for your average black hat that hates the Jamesons. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for someone like Jericho Levin. Where are you, Jericho? And again, you know, maybe I'm chasing a ghost. Possibly, but if he's anything like me, I doubt he's interested in a few thousand credit card numbers. All right, well, uh, what interests you, Mr. Duquette? What interests me, Mr. Trenton, is water, alternative energy, the future. I'm interested in changing the world. For the better? I believe so. What if I told you my goal in life was to see Wall Street destroyed? Now, is that a bad thing? No, no, it's an outdated model. Hmm. We agree on that. It's corrupt. It's uh, destroying the middle class that it should serve. And do you know what gleaning is? Uh, is it biblical? The poor were allowed to scour the fields after the harvest had been taken, collecting what they could for themselves. You understand? Yeah, I think so. If the existing economic system were destroyed, then the average guy would be able to find wealth in the rubble. Close enough. Now, if that's Jericho 11's objective, then more power to him. Unfortunately for now, my job is to stop him. But there is a revolution coming. And I'm sure that he'll be part of it. Guys, it's a hack off. Oh, yeah. I hope you found what you were looking for. Yeah, that guy's got a lot of big ideas. He's developing a messiah complex. It's emerging of the internet and the human conscience. It gets me kind of hot. Mm. So you arranged this whole thing to convince me he's not Jericho 11? Well, like you said, everyone has their secrets, right? What do you say, HOC, NORAD, your old buddies at the Department of Defense? Not hacking anything. We just penetrate. No damage. Okay. Department of Defense. Ready, set. It might be past redemption. That's what I was counting on. I was playing at Z-Bot in Peter Duquette's system. Wait, no, I'm not following you. Speak English. Okay, I knew I couldn't get behind Peter Duquette's firewall unless I was invited. Yeah. It cost me the battle, but it's in there. We now have access to all of Peter Duquette's computers and whatever he's into. Nice. Yeah. Lockdown's back, baby. Right, who's locked up? Is that you? I'm locked up. Oh. The Z-Bot is in. I gotta take it nice and slow, though. Duquette could have traps set up in there. I gotta hit off someone in that room about something called blind data. Blind data? I'll yeah. Keep that in mind. So Duquette was looking for Jericho 11 as well? Yeah. Maybe he really is on the up and up. I don't know. There's something up with him. My hits off of Benny and Marissa have been quite accurate. Speaking of Marissa, our little hat girl. She's 22 years old, a few minor charges for theft, but nothing crazy. She's just a bit of a street punk. Oh, it makes you wonder if she got mixed up with Peter Duquette. Yeah. Yeah, a little more than mixed up from what I saw. You mind if I borrow that phone? No, not at all. Yeah. All this religious stuff Peter's been talking about, the cleaning Jericho. I think there's something there. I'm gonna go find out. Okay, let me know if you get anything. Well, uh, see you guys later. So I think I got something, okay? That name Toby was talking about, Blind Data? Mm -hmm. They own a server, and Peter Duquette and his minions have been snooping around on it quite a bit. Well, given his job, I'm sure he looks at servers every day. But no doubt, but Blind Data is owned by Kenneth Nye. The security consultant for Revenue Canada. Okay. Hey. Morning. Good morning. After you. Look, um, yesterday, after work, did I do something wrong? Or... No, 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 you did not. Okay, because, you know, it's just hoping you'd call. Or... I'm seeing somebody. There you go, I should have said that oh, earlier. Okay. I, um, I just started seeing somebody. Uh, it's, it's kind of great and new, and I kind of really like her, so. Okay, yeah, there... no, that, that explains everything. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that you're great, and uh, if I had met you six months ago, who knows, but there it is. Well, anything changes. Good 
Uh, unit 2-1 responding, copy. Shall we? Blind Data is just one of a number of companies I own. On-site scrubbing, destruction of hard drives and backup devices. We take redundant information and safely dispose of it. Well, is there any reason that Peter Duquette would need or want access to that company? No, none that I can think of. Well, this so-called redundant information. This is people's names, credit card numbers, uh, their security codes, even their SIN numbers? Could be. Maybe he's planning to steal that information from blind data. Impossible. The man who works with me, I trust him completely. Well, I believe the going rate for SIN numbers on the black market is, what, $10 a pop? $10. So if he were to hack into your site, how many numbers are we talking about? Millions. Well, that's a lot of money, Mr. Niles. Enough to tempt anyone, I should think. I really appreciate you sharing this with me. I'll look into it immediately. Yeah. Hey, uh, we've been looking at this Jericho Levin thing all wrong. You know, when I first read Benny, I thought it was a person. But what if it's not a person? What are you talking about? All right, look in the Bible. Jericho's a city with huge, strong walls protecting it. A guy named Joshua, he blows his trumpet until the walls collapse. Jericho is not a hacker, it's a target. Now, what if it's a computer behind that wall? Behind a firewall? Getting into these archives was like raising Lazarus from the dead. Anyway, Jericho 11 was the name assigned to a computer built for Revenue Canada in the early 1980s. Its primary function was data backup and storage. And one of the engineers is none other than Kenneth Niles. He must have known all along. Okay, so Jericho 11 is sitting around gathering dust uh, with a whole bunch of old electronic equipment, like magnetic backup tapes. The equipment room that Toby saw in his read. It's old stuff, outdated, forgotten by the world. Yeah, except for Kenneth Niles, who has long since left Revenue Canada and started up his own business disposing of old data like those old jericho 11 tapes suddenly he has access to millions of sin numbers all he needs is a buyer and who better to help set that up than peter duquette so how does he do it me i bring jericho 11 back online transfer the data to a secure server that i own and let the middleman handle the rest that's why duquette was probing blind data server he was prepping for the transfer okay there's just one thing that's bothering me here does duquette seem like the type of guy who would share his plan no so how did toby get his read from hack girl how did she know? You mind if I come in? I'm a little busy. I just want to talk to you about Jericho Levin and Joshua. Joshua Patterson, your father. We have a problem. Only one? I just got off the phone with Revenue Canada, and yes, they recently signed a deal with Blind Data to destroy the Jericho 11 files. Suggested by Kenneth Niles, no doubt. Well, exactly, but here's the thing. Blind Data just moved up to date. To when? Today. I'll take Kenneth Niles. I'll take Peter Duquette. It's a cool place. Up there? Yeah. So you want to tell me about your father? My father was a quiet, brilliant man. He went about his business asking for nothing, ultimately receiving nothing. You work for Revenue Canada? Mm -hmm. Kenneth Niles took credit for everything about the Jericho 11 project. I mean, it was my dad's idea, even the name, the whole thing. That's kind of funny, Joshua protecting Jericho. 
My dad said nothing. Not a word, even when Revenue Canada downsized them. After all, Kenneth went off, you know, and started his own business. Why couldn't my dad? What went wrong? Kenneth Niles is what went wrong. <laughs> Jericho 11, you said you didn't know anything about it. My work is highly classified. Absolute discretion is required. Well, we have officers raiding Duquette's office right now, so unless you start talking, you're going to find your computer privileges very limited in prison. This is a good day for you to leave work early, Benny, if you know what I mean. Dude, hey, I said this is a good day to leave work early. My dad started his own IT security firm, right? But his major client got hacked, so his reputation was ruined. This is a man in his 50s with no way of starting over. You're in big trouble, Mr. Duquette. I know. There are 14 million SIN numbers on that computer. $10 a piece, that's... It's a lot of money for you and your partner. I'm surprised you're not more upset seeing how you're about to lose it. I told you before that I'm not a criminal anymore. In fact, I was going to redirect all that money to something useful. Of course, Kenneth, he didn't know that. He would have been very upset when he found out, but... Was he going to complain to? You're going to redirect that money where? Haiti, maybe, Sudan. I was thinking about building solar farms there, having the locals run them. A little microeconomics project of mine. See, that is how you burn the system down, not down. It's by empowering the little guy. Yeah, well, it's too bad none of that's gonna happen now. Well, the irony is, is that it never would have. Why? Because someone is stealing the SIN numbers from my computer as we speak. I've been hacked. And one day it was just... It's all a bit too much for him. <laughs> Kenneth Niles. Mm -hmm. So I hacked his computers and I watched for years to try to find some way to pay him back. But not, not just for what he did to my dad, but for everyone that he screwed over. And that's when I found out about what he was doing with Jericho 11 and I also knew about Peter's involvement. So you pretended to be attracted to Peter to get close to him to, to steal their big payday? Is that it? I would have never sold those numbers. It's 14 million people's lives. Peter would go, he'd go on about these benevolent concepts, but really he couldn't care less what happened to those people. And it was just like how Kenneth Niles could care less what happened to my dad. And now these lives are in your hands. Yeah, they are. But... My life is in your hands. Drives like microwaves. No. Waiting out here in the cold. I was kind of hoping we could have a little private moment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was ridiculous what I said yesterday. I didn't, you know, the whole 
Lee okay, Bing. It was a bad Oz. joke. I was. Oz, <laughs> shut up. Okay. Okay, look, here's the deal. I used to be married, and now I'm free, and I want to start enjoying life. I mean, you're a lot of fun, but I'm not. I'm not looking for a commitment, you know, and I'm certainly not looking for exclusivity. You cool with that? You free tonight? Actually, no. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow works. You know, Oz, there might come a day when you're not cool with this. I'm cool with it now. So, uh, any news on the SIN numbers? Whoever hacked Peter Ducat hasn't done anything with them yet. Yeah, he said they won't. Do you? Yeah. You know that hack girl's vanished. Did she? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Not at all. No, no, of course not, because if you did, I'm sure you'd tell me. You'd be the first to know. Though I have a feeling she'd be hard to find. Do you? Just have that feeling. Mm.